Hey guys, right now Maokai is an incredibly strong support and with this guide you'll be getting free LP in no time. But quickly, this is my first time making a support guide so if you enjoy the video or find any of this helpful, please show the video some appreciation by liking or commenting. Or show some hate by disliking so I know whether or not I should continue making guides. Let's get you guys started off with his build and rune since everything after will just be a more in-depth guide to how to play Maokai. The most ideal rune page is Aftershock, Font of Life, Conditioning, and Overgrowth with Cosmic Insight and Biscuits as your secondary tree. Bone Plating is a complete bait of a rune and Second Wind will always heal more damage than Bone Plating will ever block. If you're worried about poke and want to be healthy and laned, go Second Wind. If you want late game scaling, go Conditioning. As for your final option, it's between Unflinching and Overgrowth. In my personal opinion, I hate unflinching. I think you only take it when you absolutely need tenacity. And if you need tenacity, go legend tenacity with triumph as it's a far better option than relying on a rune that gives you tenacity when you're low HP. Overgrowth synergizes with your kit cause sapling damage, duration, and your passive all scale with max HP so you want as much as possible. Next patch, depending on when this video goes out, it might have actually already happened, the bonus stat runes will have changed. So right now, with your bonus stats, you actually go Adaptive Force with double armor, however, they're removing the armor and MR runes. So next patch, you will be looking at Adaptive Force with 2% movement speed and scaling HP, or Adaptive Force with double scaling HP. Tenacity is also going to be there if you need it. With runes covered, let's talk about the support item. Your go-to support item upgrade is Solstice Sled. It is incredibly broken on Maokai. Solstice Sled gives you 120 HP and 90 movement speed to both you and your closest lowest HP ally whenever you slow or immobilize a champ. And every single one of Maokai's abilities are either hard CC or a slow, so anything in your kit will proc it. In laning phase, if you place a sapling in the bush and the jungler walks over it, you and your carry are instantly healed and hasted for 4 seconds so you can run away from the gank for free. And on top of that, the jungler will be slowed while being an entire screen away. The sapling synergy is also global so at any point during the game from any bush, if someone walks over the sapling, you're healed and hasted for free. It does not matter where you are, you will get it. Because of the synergy, you will proc Solstice Sled more than any other support in the game. Moving on, Bloodsong is a very good offensive option. It is getting nerfed, but even after the nerfs, you will be able to shred any ADC or support you engage on. It only works when you actually get on someone, so it's not as good as the Sled, which has global power, but it's a very good secondary option if you want that offensive stat instead. Celestial Opposition is your third option which I think is very niche because it's only really good if you're the one who's constantly getting engaged on. If you're the one engaging, the damage reduction will overlap with Aftershock and slows don't stack, meaning the 50% slow is going to overlap with two of your spells and Trailblazer, so the slow is just completely negligible. Your fourth option is Zazax Realm Spike, and it seems good, but it's actually incredibly weak. So unless it gets a major buff, don't take this upgrade under any circumstances. You'll do way more damage with Bloodsong. Zazax Realm Spike actually does less damage than Dreammaker as well, so it's just really bad overall. It's probably the worst upgrade. So moving on to your regular items, your go-to item will always be Trailblazer first. This item gives so much movement speed you are inescapable while running down the enemy team. It also pairs very nicely with his most popular boot option which are Swifties. You will be so fast you will be able to make picks on the bot lane incredibly easy with Trailblazer and Swifties. Merc Treads and Steel Caps are also really good boot options depending on how much damage the enemy team does and how long you think you'll be able to live. Moby Boots do not work on you because saplings will constantly be marking you as in combat so you won't be getting the movement speed bonus. C4 
CDR boots are also a bait because on top of them being nerfed this season, you will be getting way more done by being fast or tanky with the first three options for boots. I accidentally bought CDR boots in the game going on in the background thinking I was hovering Merc Tread, so probably ignore that as an example, it's not exactly what I was wanting to buy. After Trailblazer, you want to build Locket into either Thornmail, Night's Vow, or Abyssal Mask depending on whether or not you need Grievous Wounds to keep your carry alive or Magic Resist while boosting your team's damage. The only item you should never buy on Maokai is Zeke's. With the current changes, it does not synergize with how you want to be using your ultimate. You want faraway alts for maximum impact and root duration, whereas Zeke's wants you to be alting people point blank. Do not build the item, go literally any other tank item. Itemize however you need during the game, but Trailblazer and Locket are your core two items. So how do you lane with Maokai support? You max Q, W, and E, and typically level your abilities also in that same order. Q and W level 2 are such good engage tools you actually want to be pushing for level 2 as fast as you can so you can zone off the enemy off the wave or potentially get an all in and a kill. When you hit level 3 you want to be rotating your E between lane brushes and the river brushes. River brushes will keep you safe from the enemy jungler whereas lane brushes are just there for poke and getting you more gold from your support item. When you throw saplings in lane, always, and I can't stress this enough, always throw them up against the wall. This will keep them just barely outside of minion aggro range while close enough to go on any champion that decides to walk next to the minions. Do not throw them close to the brush edge, they will aggro on the minions and then you have wasted a sapling. Throwing them right up against the wall will always put them just barely in range of any champion that decides to walk next to the minion wave. So the only micromanaging you are doing in lane is where you are placing your saplings between river and lane and specifically placing them up against the wall when you do throw them in lane. Because of your saplings, you are incredibly safe from ganks but not immune. Be aware of where the jungler might be before going all in because you do not have a way out. Late game, you do typical support things by always roaming for vision and throwing saplings in every single bush you can. This will keep you and your team very safe. You always want to be first to an objective unless your team is giving it then there's no point in being there. But when you and your team want to take an objective, you want to be there early so you can set up as many saplings in as many bushes as possible. It is not the end of the world if you aren't there first because alting from bot lane to mid lane or mid lane to bot lane, same with like mid to top and top to bot, your alt is actually wider than the entire river. So if you are there late, you still have the option of just alting from one side of the river to the other, completely zoning or catching out the enemy team. Ideally, you do want to be there early to place saplings before the enemy team can get there. This will get free chip damage on them and your ulti is impossible to dodge in a choke. So hopefully you can either get a free win off of a team fight or just completely make them not want to show up to the objective at all. So once you master this easy to play champion, you'll honestly climb in no time. And as always, take care and I hope to see you in the next video.